hey everyone, this is Daryl from Daily Crypto Tracing. It's coming to you live, live from Vietnam, guys. It is a great time to be alive, guys. And it is a wonderful, wonderful time to be alive. We're going to be talking about Dogecoin. We're going to be talking about Bitcoin. We're going to be talking about crypto in general. What is going on, guys, and what are we going to see for the rest of the day, guys? So it's kind of interesting. We could be seeing that Dogecoin could be seeing a 25% pumpity pump pump if this happens, guys. So we're going to be talking about that and much, much more. Remember, everything you see here is not freaking financial advice, just an OG analysis, express my opinion, and not a licensed financial advice. Advisor. And remember one thing out there, uh, guys, watch out for the nasty scammer, whammer, bammers. I'm never going to contact you. I'm never going to have you to deposit anything. I'm never going to have you to, you know, invest anything, guys. And I'm not going to reach out. Not going, not going to try to contact you. And remember, there is a ton of fake accounts out there. There's a ton, 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 ton fake accounts out there. It's like three Twitter accounts, one, uh, two Facebook. It's just, it, the, the scammer, whammer, bammers are everywhere, guys. And tourists, don't forget to hit Dogecoin one, one, one. What is going on, guys? Much love out there, guys. Uh, we're seeing right now that the broader markets are, are looking okay in the pre-market. So we've had like two or three Debbie Downer days. So we could be having a nice reversal to the upside today. I think that the cryptos are looking pretty good. If you take a look at the heat, heat map, so I don't need, I do not need my red glasses. I do not need sunglasses because there's no red out there. So guys and gals, we are seeing that BTC is up, up, up. Fantastic. We're seeing that BTC is up uh, almost uh, 21,000. Now it did hit its highest 21,000. It did get knocked back down. Ethereum is just kind of up today, 1.8%. So we're seeing that a lot of things are moving to the upside a little bit, but we are seeing some coins are down, de -de -de -de, down, down. Let's take a look at the total market cap, cap and cap, cap out there. We are seeing that the total market cap right now, let me give this a minty refresh, guys. Minty refresh time. We're seeing that the total market cap is almost up uh, by 1%. We're seeing that the Bitcoin dollars is at 41.4 we're seeing that the ethereum right now ethereum 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 in the house is at 19.4 percent so overall we're seeing that uh you know most of cryptocurrencies on the weekly are greeny 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 we're seeing green everywhere uh except binance binance stable coins are out a little bit guys but we're still seeing that they're pretty stable because there's stable coins out there but we're seeing that on the weekly doge doge or woja is still up guys at 0.54 percent but it's not looking good for Doge right now. Eight cents uh, support level is still holding, but I do not know how long it can hold. We're gonna be talking about some key levels, some absolute key levels that you should be thinking about aping in. Aping into the ape coin, aping into the Doge coin, just aping guys. Ooh, 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 ooh. Do you feel like an ape sometimes, the way the crypto is going? Guys? So today I've got a bad back. I don't know what happened. I, I have no idea what freaking happened to me today. I woke up, my back hurts, guys. So if I, if I start like moving and, and, and looking uncomfortable, it's because my back hurts. I, I apologize, I apologize. My wife's birthday today. Congratulations, Weefy Wifey. Much love out there. Happy freaking birthday, guys. Happy birthday. And we're seeing that the DXY right now is uh, slightly up. Nothing to worry about. It's at 102.190. We do need to get down to 99 cents. I think it's going to have 99 cents zone. So what are we seeing right now for Bitcoin? We are seeing that Bitcoin right now is at $20,949. And we did today, we did get a high around about 21215 We did get a low of 28 And uh, so we have this kind of pendant formation. That is pretty bullish, guys. We need to break out about And of course, once again, this... This this horrible twenty one thousand three hundred level is just kicking us kicking us down, diddy diddy down down. We're just not able to get above uh, twenty one thousand three hundred. We just keep getting rejected. We got rejected like once, twice, three times, four times, five times, six times, seven times. So almost a week we have been unable to get past twenty one three, and it is it's getting frustrating, guys. It's absolutely getting frustrated out there. We definitely need to get above twenty one three. And those going one one one. Pow, pow, pow. It's a great time to be alive. I'm still pretty positive about that. You should be positive as well. Uh, on the weekly, uh, Bitcoin is looking good. We're still in the green. Uh, we got this spinning top, so nobody knows exactly where we got, we're going to go. We got the W pattern formation, and uh, we've got about two days and 14 hours left. So eh, it is not too shabby, guys. Now, right now, Ethereum is still looking good. It did, it, yesterday, it did go down. It did hit my support of 1500 bucks. It bounced up, and right now, we're at $1,551 in the house. Like I said, I still think that we're going to break out from this, uh, this uh, pennant uh, formation. This pen and flag formation, we see uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum have a pretty similar pattern out there, and I think we're going to be getting about eighteen hundred and thirty-six dollars, guys. I'm pretty sure about. That. Let's take a look at little average apes, guys. Fifty-two million out there. Fifty-two million, not so not so bad. They're not they're not going nuts right now. Uh, we're seeing in twenty-four hours, mainly Ethereum, uh, Bitcoin, Solana, 
And Doge, Doge, half a million bucks, guys. Half a million bucks on Doge. And we're also seeing that some Shiba Inu shorts as well, guys, right now. So right now, we can see that most of the positions that are building up right now are short. So thank goodness. That is why, that is why we are seeing that, uh, you know, everything is going up because we're getting a short squeeze. We you know we had a long squeeze, you know, for the last two days, and now it's a short squeeze. And we're seeing that uh, you know 60% of the uh, total leverage resistance, 61% are are uh, shorts. So that is good. That is good. Uh, but watch out for probing Hunter Wicks to the upside, guys. So watch out for that. Absolutely, watch out for that, guys. I'm taking off my glasses. I can't see a thing. Blind is a bat. Blind is a bat out there. So what else we seeing? What else we seeing coming in? We're seeing that Robinhood launches Web3 wallet on iOS. Finally, finally, finally. So it looks like Robinhood, the popular stock and crypto trading app, has released a freaking Web3 wallet out there. So that is pretty good. And you know, go, good morning. We start to roll out the wallet, Rob, Robinhood wallet to our one million waitlist. We have had some awesome changes since the beta program based on our customer feedback and are excited to get them. So this is gonna be a self-custody wallet out there. Self-custody wallet out there. Okay, so that is good. That is definitely gonna be showing your, uh, you know, uh, securing your crypto. So the IOSIS application was initially launched on Polygon's network before expanding to other blockchain networks, leveraging Ethereum layer block two. So that is pretty good. Uh, this releases a significant upgrade to the company's previous crypto wallet product, simply a transfer feature on the trading app. The, the feature now allows users to transfer crypto in and out of the platform, but was not a true wallet in the traditional sense. It also marks the company's entry into the software wallet market. So this is pretty good, guys. This is good news out there. So it's good, it's good. Some good news for Robinhood, hopefully. Robinhood, it looks like also, right now, breaking news, crypto lender Genesis files for chapter 11 and as crisis deepens well. We knew that was going to happen. We absolutely freaking knew that was going to happen, guys. So Genesis Global uh, Hold Co., the parent company in battle, crypto lender Genesis Global Capital has filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection, becoming the largest firm to cave to the pressure of the wake of FDX. So another, another bankruptcy out there. Uh, but it's kind of interesting. We've had this bankruptcy uh, filing, but we are not seeing that the crypto markets are dumping, guys. So Genesis Global, one of the biggest crypto lenders, halted customer payments on November uh, 16th, uh, stoking fears among among a huge fail, guys. So, guys, it's 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 huge, guys. It's absolutely huge. You have like uh, uh, based on the bankruptcy record, GCC is named more than 100,000 creditors uh, to the to in the mega bankruptcy filing with the total obligation of about 1.2 billion to 11 billion dollars guys so it is not good out there guys so more crypto contagion will it ever stop it will stop eventually binance is among the top bitcoin receivers of the bal balso lat bits lato like like is that a, like a gelato or something so it looks like this bits lato then you guys all know the story that the uh, the the uh the doj basically get them in a curve and close them down but fun facts hong kong raised uh crypto exchange Bits Alato had begun been charged by the U.S. Justice Department for allegedly laundering seven hundred million dollars in crypto assets. The Bits Alato founder and totally whatever has been arrested in the Department of Justice on Wednesday. Bits Alato top three top three receiving uh, counterparties in terms of bitcoins received between May and September were Binance, the Russian connected darknet uh, market Hydra, and alleged Russian based Ponzi scheme, the Fingico. Uh, so guys. This is kind of interesting, guys. This is kind of dark, dark stuff, guys. Really dark stuff. Uh, this is, I think this is a, a tale of caution out there. And this is from Michel Bar, big Dogecoin maxi out there. In case we're not clear enough, even at this point, do not hold your crypto in any remaining earning programs. If you are still lucky enough to have access to your crypto, withdraw now. Totally, guys. Withdraw and store your Dogecoin and other crypto on a non-custodial wallet. That is why I'm telling you guys over and over again, get a hardware wallet, secure your crypto, do not be a fool, do not be fooled, get a freaking hardware wallet, guys. You definitely need to do that. Definitely, definitely need to do that, guys. Also, what else he comes in and said, no exchange is too big to fail. We talked about that. If you don't want to lose your Dogecoin to a moronic crypto bros, uh, withdraw. With, withdraw, guys. And you know, systematic risk is as serious as it gets as Genesis, DCG are behind everything. They are, they are the system. A good chunk of it with ties to all major players, guys. So Genesis goes down. It's going to affect DCG, guys. Absolute DCG is going to be affects. 
What I learned in the past two years that many had some kind of weird blind faith in Gemini, Voyager, FTX, Binance, Earn programs, either dumb bots were targeting me or advertising campaigns of these platforms were so good that people ended up trusting them blindly, guys. Do not trust anybody out there. Trust yourself and trust your hardware wallet, guys. Good news, when will we have confirmation of the next bull market for BTC is starting? If we look at the Fibonacci level, the 016 level, then the DMA 700 could provide clarity. Guys, so time and time again, I did talk to you that when the red line crosses the blue line, a strong bull run happened in 2016 and 2020. And we are very close right now, guys. It's very close. It hasn't happened yet, but we're getting very close. So the bull run is just around the corner, guys. So don't forget to smash the likes, lick the likes, show some love love for, for OG, guys. Looks like many indicators showing similar behavior in the last two Bitcoin bottoms of 2015. Guys, so we're seeing very similar behaviors right now uh, in, this, in, this, uh, in this time period. And we're seeing that right now, we are seeing that in my opinion, if you look at the scholastic, if we look at all the other periods here, here, and here, this was pretty similar, factual, guys. And indicators don't tell a lie, but men do, guys. So the rationale is this is unbiased, and we're seeing that the bottom is in, the absolute bottom is in, and we're going to be seeing some more pumps to the upside. Sure, there might be some volatility, there might be some upside, there might be some downside, but guys, I am absolutely, absolutely convinced. Just that once again, Genesis Files of Chapter 11, watch out, get your crypto, get your crypto off lending platforms. Interesting, the total debt is 3.4, 3 31.4 trillion. The annual interest paid on that debt is 1.2 uh, trillion by 2024, wow. Annual tax revenue is 4.9 trillion, Annual deficit is 1.4 trillion. Losses projected 2023 deficit could be over 2 trillion, guys. Uh, looks like Treasury taps retirement funds to avoid breaching U.S. debt limits. So it looks like looks like the, the retirement funds have been tapped by Yellen the felon, guys and gals. So that is not good news out there. Ooh, MG. So Bitcoin bull flag is forming. Bullish, bullish, bullish. What else is coming in? We're seeing that uh, what accumulation and break of 20 month falling wedge looks like. So we're seeing this 20 month falling wedge and we're seeing the breakout of this 20 month falling wedge. Bullish, bullish guys, absolutely bullish guys. I'm loving it. Guys, looks like Barry Silver's Genesis just filed for chapter 11, bankruptcy in the Southern District of New York guys. So be freaking careful. Get your crypto, get your crypto off lending platforms. Get them off centralized exchange and get them on a hardware wallet, guys. That is so important, guys. So we're seeing right now that uh, this indicator shows that Shiba Inu, Cardano, and Dogecoin are undervalued, guys. Absolutely. We're seeing the sentiment analysis, the MRV score, is which measures used by analysts to determine if a cryptocurrency is oversold or overvalued or undervalued is the calculate by taking the ratio between market capitalization and realized capitalization RV. In other words, it, com it compares the current value of the cryptocurrency against all of its previous trades, providing indicator whether the current price is justified. Specifically, when the MVR score is above zero, it is assumed that the current price of cryptocurrency are higher. So right now we are seeing that if you take a look at the MVR scores of Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, ADA, Dogecoin, Matic, and SHIB, and Uni, and Link, it is showing that we are undervalued. We are freaking undervalued. We're looking at, you know, we're looking at almost like minus one. So if you take a look at, you know, we're talking about minus one for Dogecoin right now. So that is pretty cool beans out there. So Dogecoin has zero minus zero one six. So Dogecoin is freaking undervalued, guys. So this is a good, good time to be buying the Doge, guys. Now we're seeing the Dogecoin uh, price rose by 25% in the last two weeks. Invalidation of the bullish thesis is a breach below 65, 065. So if Dogecoin goes back down to 065, this is gonna validate the bear scenario. I don't believe that's gonna happen. I believe, as you can see, that Dogecoin, Doge freaking coin, is super duper holding strong at zero eight cents guys so it is a fantastic time to be alive and guys as long as we stay above this stay at this level we're not going to be we're not going to be looking bearish guys we do need some more momentum we do need some good news we do need the markets to take off and i believe that 10 cents is coming very soon guys if you take a look at the total market cap right now of dogecoin let me give this a minty refresh we're seeing the total freaking market cap right now is 10.75 a billion it's almost neutral out there we're seeing dogecoin mainly neutral and dogecoin volume is down 59 percent not a lot of news for doge unfortunately uh we're seeing that uh, 59 of you are in the money 38 percent are out and we're seeing mostly more well, 
tongue tie, pa pa pa. Mostly bullish, mostly bullish for uh, for uh, Dogecoin right now. So not too shabby, not too freaking shabby out there. So guys and gals, you know we've got to absolutely go to the moonshot. I remember Shiba Shibarium is going to be uh, launched uh, February 14th, guys. Don't forget that. I did talk about that. And guys, don't forget that we're seeing that Shiba Inu is at a zero zero four zeros and eleven point two six. I believe that uh, it's going to be you know. You know, buy the rumors, sell the news, guys. Buy the rumors, sell the news, guys. And I'm going to be tapping out of some CBE in positions I took around about the 12th of February, guys. So that's what I'm doing. Not financial advice, of course, guys. Hey, become part of the conversation, guys. Become part of the freaking conversation. Go down to my description and check out the connection to the Discord, guys. So that's going to bring this video to a closey, woozy, woozy, guys. Don't forget to go follow, 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 follow the yellow brick road. We got a blue freaking check mark, guys. Lick the likes, smash the likes. You need it, I need it. Let's freaking get it right now, guys. So it's a great time to be live. Great, great time to be live. And if you're wondering where all the connections are, go below the video description right here and you'll see the nano ledger. You'll see the Discord. You can buy the channel on coffee, guys. Buy the channel on coffee. And uh, if you got some spare Dogecoin, send it our way. I appreciate it. And guys, don't forget to get the merch. Get the merch gear with OG gear. This is just a quick one, guys. Absolutely a quick one. We'll have another update hopefully at 10 p.m. tonight. Let's get it. So I'm feeling blessed. I'm feeling good. Remember, never invest more than you're willing to lose. Diversification is key. Dollar cost average. Set a dollar cost average schedule. Regularly, how much you DCA. It's totally up to you. I remember. Take profits. You're up 200%, take 50%. If you're up another four minutes, take 50%. And that way, all that you have left is house money, guys. So be blessed, be well. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.